Hi everyone. Hey team, here we are. It's Witcher Time with at the Parlor Kitty. La 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 la. What she said. Um, we've had Danish. It's, it was real nice. Before that, we had Flulululis and um, technical term. Uh, eclairs, but eclair. Oh, far out. That was like the, the most was beautiful like consistency. Like peak, peak eclair. Oh, peak eclair had like gorgeous um, pastry. It was just like everything was balanced so perfectly. Yeah, so good. The right amount of cream. It wasn't it was fake like cream, good it was texture. Real cream. And the icing on top was like the right thickness and the right texture, and not too sweet, but really chocolatey. Mm. All of that. Mm -hmm. It was great, Eclair. So, if uh, I get like, like Eclairs mm. is the sort of thing that I always think that I don't like. I think maybe because when I was a kid, I didn't like them. Mm. And I was like, this is kind of disappointing. It's just a big cream puff thing. Um, oh, that's a fancy horse. Can we steal it? Can donkey? we make it our new ro new roach? No. Okay, fine. Steal it. Oh. I do love that he just calls all his horses roach. I know. I find it a bit rude, but there you go. Yeah, it's like people calling their dogs all the same name. That weirds me out a little bit. Yeah. Sorry if you're someone out there who does that. Maybe, maybe I mean, you've tell us about, If you do. Tell us about your thought process there. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, Eclairs. But, like, so I don't know if you guys have this in the States or wherever you are. Um, but here at like certain catered events, I think you can get like frozen mini eclairs. You can. In like these big packets. And so sometimes at like work functions and stuff like that. Um, well, hey, we got a, we got a teleport point for just coming down here. Do I need to talk to it? No, I think it, I think it registered. Okay. Um, yeah, anyway, at like catered events, there'll be like a, like a tray of these like mini eclairs and I'm just like, <laughs> turn into a little bit of a, <laughs> like a, a sneak thief. I'm just like, more eclair. They're great. <laughs> Is anyone looking at me? More eclair. <laughs> they're really nice. They're not like, they're not, um, you know, beautiful, but they're, you know, they're, they're decent enough. If they've been properly defrosted, they're nice. They're, if they're not properly frosted, they're just kind of like, Crunchy, weird, and cold when you don't want them to. Fuck! I just got oh, no. Some nice footwork there. You might have to. Judging me, or is it hell you want to fight? Whoever, I'll fight whoever. A witcher Dodge. versus the beast of Metana. Killer instinct versus primal rage. I've got such a good roll. You guys really from Nilfgaard? He's from plowing Metina, damn it! Oh, Nilfgaard. Raised by wild hands on the windswept plains <laughs> of Magdera. That's Brothers someone building their own, um... in bloodshed. Veterans of Metina's infamous filthy you know? Who dares face the wild men of the south? Who will look the beasts in the eye? Cool. I'd like to hire you to help out. We're staging a play. Need us to kick some ass on stage. Actually want you to usher. Keep the peace. Make sure no one's ass gets kicked on stage or off. Got the wrong men. Ass kicking's what we do. <laughs> How about a wager? If I beat Hal, you'll come work for me gratis. Mm. See, Hal's no fan of money. Failed romance. Spare you the details. <laughs> Do you all need something special to convince you? That hood is weird. Here's an idea. Look at that Take texture. Take us both on. Same time. Fire the century. A witcher against the two-headed dragon of metal. Also, his face is what like lit lose? inside oh, the hood. You'll lose. Oh, yes. But we'll still do your little job. You'll just pay us double. Whew. Well, it's only going to be, what, $140? We can afford it. I'm going to fight them. I mean, do what you want. I wouldn't do it, but Fine. you do what you want. Really? No, because I... Cough up the coin. Oh, you have to do it. You Lose. have to do it with fists. And it stays with us. Not with your sword. Oh, it's too late now. And I don't think you uh, can use your signs either. So, 
you enjoy that dodgy time. I'm thinking things over people. I've got a thinking face on. Why has it suddenly turned into, oh, we have to pay up first. Mm. Otherwise we just pay 70? Is that what the thing is? I'm gonna pay 70. Gotta think about it. Go and think. I don't, I don't think he's willing to do it if we pay him 70. I thought we could offer him. Made up your mind. Willing to take part oh, so it's too late now. We're gonna do it. Unless you've already found your uh, Now that you've pointed out that he's lit inside that hood, that is fucking weird. See there, there, there. Rather pay you. Oh, okay. Not in the mood for a fight. Can't I just pay you? No, it always is with you plowing Nordlings. Hell! Finish up, will ya? We're gonna take in some iron okay. culture. Cindy. I'd never agree to this shite normally. But must say, I'm curious why a mutant's hiring two boys from Metima to keep the peace at a performance in Novigrad. Give us the coin. Hell! For fuck's sake! Finish the bugger already! We're going! We'll be there before any of the dancing starts. I like that guy. Yeah, me like too. His, his, his accent's sort of designed to make you think he's a fool, but he's clearly not. Like yeah. he's really quite, quite clever. Astute. Yeah. Yes, I think that's probably the better word. Yeah, I, I agree. I like how we keep finding like new areas in this town. It's like, huh, it's now we're over here. And this I think it might be faster to travel within the town. Quite possibly. Yeah. Oh, so you went all the way down there, neat. Oh, I can't just travel, I have to go to... Yeah, the... you, you, you passed your moment. Not only just, it's just here. See, that's a hassle. I think, I wish you could travel to anywhere. Yeah, from anywhere to anywhere. I guess, like... Not to, but like, to any point on the map from anywhere. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think that's a reasonable... Like, middle ground, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Trying to walk through that fence. Yeah. Could not Take even see it. Not on stage. Whoa, What's hello. going on here? Oh, hey there. They got there before we did. Okay. Yeah, thanks, friend. Okay, okay. Well, we've got you. Oh. We got you some. Uh, notoriety and some thugs. That's all anyone could ever ask for. Totally. Hey, Kat. She's brushing her hair. Look at this. I really like her face. Yeah. I've it already, but... Ah, there you are. Managed to hire some ushers. Wonderful. That's one matter resolved. Wanted to talk about the text itself. Hmm. It's not at all badly written. Really? In fact, I quite like it. I was willing to relax my standards to help Dudu, but we may have something very interesting here. I've very clear ideas who to cast as the servant, the witcher and the queen, but I'm not certain who should play the prince and the princess. I'm just going to ask. Work through these. <sighs> sure. Who is playing the witcher? An amateur. It'll be my first time working with him. But I'm confident he'll pull it off. Newcomer to the troop? In a sense. Oh, stop pretending you don't know. I'm talking about you. <laughs> we are not an actor. Like, everyone I'm who talks actor. to us is like... You might not have noticed, but I'm a little low on emotional expression. But that's perfect. After all, you're to play the witcher, not the princess. Besides... You must appear on stage. Dudu oh. must see you. It's the crux of this entire endeavor. You're right. Just never thought I'd have to do something like this. You'll be fine, dear. You need only strut on stage, great sword in hand, furl your brow, make some threatening faces, Hi. then deliver a few lines in a gravelly voice. Think you can manage? <laughs> Uh, 
uh, Momo's cat is just having a photo shoot right now. Yeah. She's jumped in a bag. Multiple uh, directions. Favorite bag. And she is just so cute. You are so cute. Yes. We'll put it up on Facebook. Oh, Not my Facebook, gosh. Instagram. Will we? Maybe. In the last, uh, in the last episode... You said that you, not the last episode, the episode before that, you said that you'd put something on Instagram, but I didn't remind you about it, and I was the one editing the episode, so Why I'm not sure that me? you ever did. Well, 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 I did put something up because I guessed that we were due to put something up. What was it? Uh, let me have a look. This is better with social media than I am. I put up a picture of the tea that had plastic on it. <laughs> and a sunset. Ah, uh, I don't feel like it was either of those things. Anyway, we're carrying on. Okay. So, about the princess. Small part, but an important one. Any idea who could play her? Priscilla would be the obvious choice. She's young and beautiful. Yet, I do have more stage experience. I like this lady. Yeah, me too. I was going to say that. Priscilla already wrote the damn thing. Roll's yours. Talent and experience Trump looks in my book. Geralt. I'm honored. I shall give it my all. I mean, I don't know why Geralt's decided he's, like, the creative director of this play. Like, <laughs> what the fuck does he know? This is not going to go well. No, it's really not. So who do you see playing the Doppler Prince? I'm finding it hard to decide between two candidates. Abelard Ritzer would be the safer bet. He's been part of our troupe for ages, has flawless technique... But he doesn't exactly captivate the crowds. Who's your other option? Maxim Bolia, outstanding actor, and audiences love him. But sadly, I can never be sure he'll show up sober, or that he'll show up at all. <sighs> I reckon go with the sober guy. Yeah. Because it's more important that we make the play work than impress the crowds. Right? Because actually all we care about is finding Dudu. Uh, yes, yeah, just a message. Just a message to Dudu. You're right. You're right. You're right. Let's go with that. Let's go with Abelard. I'll take a reliable artisan over an unpredictable artist any day. Rightly so. The project is risky enough without our casting Maxim. Okay. All right. Got the cast figured out. It seems so. Prepared to plunge headlong into your career as a mama? Let's go fuck this up. No, we're doing it. Uh, he can start now. Looked over the script out of yeah. curiosity. We can start any time, even now. Well, we've no time to lose. Come to the stage. Issa. Zoltan, what are you doing here? Checking your lines <laughs> might have been a useful thing to do. Play. Were you playing the lead? I'm not the lead. Oh, I thought to myself, I'd sooner shave my beard than miss that. Dang. Tell me what you are. You're going to wear a hose and a codpiece. Come, Geralt, you must We already wear a hose and a codpiece. Good luck. There's no going back. Ah, Momo gave me this look like. <laughs> no! And gentlemen. <laughs> Fuck. Most honorable citizens of the hallowed city of Novigrad. Welcome. We have for you a tale moving and heartbreaking. Its title, The Doppler's Salvation. The players, Witcher Geralt as himself, Katarina as the queen, Leo Ribe as the humble servant, appearing as the prince, a veteran of the Novigrad stage, Abelard Ritza. And as the princess, renowned artiste, beloved queen of the stage, Irina Reynard. We fortunately have read our lines. I mean... But a while back. Fuck. I thought that said cat, and I was just like, yes, yes. it's a cat. <laughs> cat one. Oh my gosh, this Majesty, is so weird. the monster slayer awaits. Your summons he's answered and stands at the gates. Show him in. 
I must speak to the man. Lest that dread beast take my daughter's hand. Witcher, your task is a matter most tender. Her monster shall show a tonight's feastly splendor. Stand guard, beware, kill the beast if he shows. And a grateful queen shall reward your woes. Fuck. I think it's that one. That one. To slay beasts most foul, t'was for this I was made. I kill as my calling, not just to get paid. It was that one. It was that one. He swallowed the bait, this fool of a witcher. I'll ensure the foul bow reveals his true figure. The monster revealed, the witcher shall strike. The beast will he slay, thrust his head on a pike. Oh, my child will pity her love, this beast, but a fiend and a maid. No, this must cease. Shit, man. I'm stressed. Gathered are we, a host fair and noble, to celebrate this day the princess's betrothal. Alas, no monster do I see or hear. That bottom one? Oh, Perhaps sorry. The guests he hides in fear. Well, maybe that was right. My dear, I just thought I'd sing that. Long have we hid <laughs> our love's tender fires. In stealth we'd meet, in deceit like liars. Tonight shall it end, be my wife, that's my plea. He has a mushroom head. Our hearts torment over, we shall love for centuries. Oh, darling, I will, I will, I will. Wait, with wine must we toast this moment joyful. If not, a foul curse shall rend your lives woeful. Sit down. Okay. D -d 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 Treason is not wine, but a brew spiked with silver. Is that a thing? Soon all shall see my true monstrous figure. <gasps> hark, hark. Tis no prince, but a Doppler imposter. That one, I think. I don't know. Maybe. Um... If the maid loves him, it seems we've lost no, her. No, it's not her. It's Behold, not her. Witcher, the beast of which I spoke. Unleash your sword. Let fly the killing stroke. Stop. Stop. Beast or man, tis my love, my betrothed. Sheath your blades. Fear a Doppler. Tis a thing most foolish. Changing one's shape does not make one ghoulish. Remember. Is not flesh a monster makes. Uh, I feel like the bottom one. But a heart that is base, such as in this knave ace. Yes, good choice. Witcher, tis true. This wretch's foul suspicions tainted my mind with this plan so malicious. The Doppler must live. My daughter he'll wed. Beast or man, she loves him truly without dread. Tis our tale's end, good folk, and its moral oh, is no. this. No monster is he. No monster is he whose shape can shift. The Witcher is just a true Doppler's friend. Oh, that guy's just... Oh, hey! But you, foul page, in chains you shall end. Guard! Call the guard! Remove the traitor at once! Hey, hear the princess's command. Come up here. Come on then, governor. Up you go. On stage. Toss the traitor scum in the dungeon! Don't be afraid. In the end, everyone will live happily ever after.
What if it's not Dudu and it's just some random guy? Oh my gosh, that out. would be the best. Doppler and Princess wed the same night. The servant's heart melted. He wept at the sight. Doppler's to the stake! Burn them all! He's right. I, mummers, don't know the eternal fire's commandments. Blasphemers! All the teach them respect Didn't we for the fight! Kill your friends. What are you on about? Shut the fuck up and clap before I tear your new arseholes. Tear me a new one? We'll see about that. Oh. On your feet, boys! Give them a taste of Who's hell! That? In the name of the church! Yeah. Give us a hand, Witcher. Can't take them on our own. Yeah, kill them more. You already killed them once. At least you don't have to use just your friends. And at least there's no friendly fire. <laughs> yeah, friendly fire's a problem. Just chop up half the crowd. Nice. I love that that lady's just standing in the middle of the situation. She's like, if I stand real still, they won't see me. <laughs> They're like T-Rexes. Oh, that guy's so pleased with himself. Oh, you got a chicken sandwich. Your favorite is a... <laughs> I don't need chicken. <laughs> but Geralt does. This guy. Oh, that is probably my favorite death pose. <laughs> I'm just moving so to the far. side. I kind of want it to be the screen. Yeah, yeah. If you can get a good angle on that, I will put it on the thumbnail, but I can't guarantee anything. No, I can't. can't yeah, no, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Face the camera. Yeah. Great. Nice work. Yeah, good. <laughs> Important things in life. Oh, man. Saying. Beautiful. Well, I feel like that was a satisfactory mix of slaughter and uh, mummery. I think yeah. we got like all of them bar maybe one, right? Yeah. I th mm, yeah, there was but one where you kind of like fight, fumbled like, around, which means it can't have been great. Hey, there he is. Hey, you recognize me. How'd you do it? Greetings, huh? Dudu. Heard about that souvenir Horson left on your face. So, you know everything? Have you seen Siri? No. Still looking for her. Geralt! Masterful! You did great. Haven't they laughed that hard in ages? Lads won't believe it when I tell them. Explain one thing to me. How'd you and Dandelion manage to displease Reuven, Horson, and the Temple Guard all at the same time? It's not as if we planned it. That is quite the undertaking. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, start there. I know Siri went back to Horsens to get you. How do you manage to escape? I ran after her, wanting to keep up, but I'd have been a hindrance. She called out to me, entreated me to shapeshift and disappear. I tried to find them, Siri and Dandelion. It was as if they turned to vapor. Fearing for my life, I shifted each day, becoming someone else. Even considered turning into Siri to trick her pursuers, but... Slow down, Marmalade. Hmm. Geralt, when did you last see Cirilla? Hmm? Been a while, hasn't it? A while, yeah. For me, likewise. Must be a full-grown lass by now. Do, do, do us a wee favour. Show us Siri for a moment. Geralt? Yeah, yeah, I do. I, I do. Yeah, for Geralt's sake, I think. Transform. Change into her. And she. Are they going to show us it? Or are they going to cut away? Oh, wow, they are going to show us it. No, kind of. A bit. Oh, Geralt. I feel strange. Both of you staring at me bug eyed. Is that enough? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Plenty. Bad idea. Not angry with me, are you, Geralt? No. 
He just wants relieved. to hold her. And Dandelion? The real Were you one. you able to find him? Witch hunters nabbed him. But there's good news too. Menga's dead. Ugh. A fiend. Good thing someone finally killed it. Though another, just as bad or worse, would likely take its place. Wouldn't be so quick to assume. But a feeling it could be a decent fellow. What's he talking about? Yep. We think we can free Dandelion. Just need your help. What could I do? Take on Menga's appearance. Then go and give the order for Dandelion to be moved to Oxenfurt. Or lie in ambush in a ravine en route. Spring Dandelion from the convoy when it rolls by. Wait, not so fast. How am I to be Menga? And I've no notion where Dandelion's being held. He's on Temple Isle. And no one knows he's dead. Dandelion's on Temple Isle, imprisoned there. You'll need to find out exactly where. But what if they grow suspicious? Start asking questions. I'll bet my best axe no one will pester the commander of the Temple Guard. Besides, you're a Doppler and an actor, and an actor and a Doppler. Got double the spark to improvise your way out of any situation. If things get spicy, you'll just nip round the corner and transform into a buxom wench, a, a jackdaw, or whatever else strikes your fancy. Of course, it's that simple. Thanks. No one knows Menga's dead. No need to worry about being exposed. No one save you. Would this have anything to do with the fire hmm. at the witch hunter's barracks? I mean... Well, I mean... We were in the area. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I sorely regret not seeing that. That's such a great line. <laughs> we were in the area. <laughs> Listen, you'll manage. Everybody believes Menga's missing. You can make up any story you want. My lads and me will lie in ambush in the ravine. Geralt will then join us and we'll await word from you. But how am I to contact you as Menga? Send word that the convoy's left. You'll need to figure that out. Come on, Guile's your middle name. So, we all clear? Dudu, get your ass to Temple Isle. I'm off to assemble my crew. And we'll be waiting for you, Geralt. Yeah, see you in the ravine. Whoa, wait! Hold on! What happens after? I hope you don't expect me to continue as Menga, live like Chappelle, burning the occasional heretic to keep up appearances? No. Once it's over, we expect to see you at the Rosemary in time, where we'll all meet. To get pissed like wild badgers. So, settled, let's get to work. Ha <laughs> ha, poor... Not bad. Not poor bad at all for your first time out. Just a few minor trip-ups. The performance in general. What did you think? I doubt the audience understood it all, but that's to be expected. I'm just pleased the Puffins got the word out. That was quite the crowd. You were right to cast Abelard as the prince. It's likely Maxim would have shown up drunk as a fish or forgotten about the premiere altogether. Here you are, your fee. I must admit your style of mumming, well, it's quite minimalist. Did you study anywhere? At Kaer Morhen. Minimum expression means maximum effect. Thanks for the coin. Take care now. Okay. <laughs> uh, reckon, should we just chat to Priscilla real quick before we leave? Because yeah. I feel like she might be mad that we didn't cast her. Yeah. Oh, no. Okay. Take maybe she is now. mad. <laughs> Won't talk to us. Yeah, maybe she's like, fuck you. <laughs> hey, we got 30 bucks, which is a net loss altogether, but, you know, hey. But we have doo-doo, so... Is it in case the first one breaks? Maybe... So Meet Sultan at the side of the ambush. Do you want to do it, is it? Nah. I say, yeah, because I'm... Drive home. Going home. Hey, we went up a level. La, Far la, out. La, la, la. Nice. We are now officially at the recommended level to travel to Skalica. Fuck that quest. I mean, we're going to go sometime, but... I, I love Skellige. that. Uh, uh, I think in the Good. comments of the previous episode, this is just like, I'm now officially just like getting belligerent about it. Like, don't tell me what to fucking do. Yeah. I'm going to Skellige when I fucking well want to. <laughs> uh, I'm just moseying about, stuff. to be honest. Yeah, no. Like, uh, I feel like we still haven't really like had a... Like an explorer of this town just for the sake of looking at it, you know? Yeah. Are you a quest? Yeah. Mm, he is. With you. Not for all the gold. A witcher? Oh. Hear about the notice by chance? What notice? Oh, no. Sure. Yeah. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Not quite. But what's it about? 
I hear right, you're going on some voyage, need a companion. Not just some voyage, cross the sea. Mark this, when I got pressed into the infantry in 1242, I promised my beloved letter I'd return alive, whole, and with a pearl from Skellige. Not just any pearl either, a black one, the rarest and most precious. Well, well, ambitious. Perhaps, but they were empty words. I came from the war, that one and the next, but I never fulfilled my promise. My time to change that. For if not now, then when? Thing is, I've grown old in the meantime, as you see. Can't manage it alone, need a strong shoulder to lean on. And a witcher's shoulders as strong as they come. So, what do you say? I mean, sure, but not like right this second. Plan's crazier than it is sane, but there's an irresistible charm to it. Offer me some pay and I'll help you out. Don't you fret about coin. I brought home a good deal of it from various fronts. Say we meet in Skellige, by the collapsed bridge near Arenbjorn. It's but a hop away from the bed where black pearls are born. Will that work for you? Sounds fine. I am See not there. doing that quest. What the fuck? Just so you know, when it comes, you're doing it. Alright. Just cause, or you've seen it before? Uh, because diving for pearls. Oh. Underwater. Ah. No. Okay, 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 okay. Don't want to do it. I'm just moseying at this point. Okay. Right, I think we're good, because I need to go home and sleep. Yeah. Um, I hope you all are at home and get to sleep too. Hey, check out Maybe if you turn, turn the other way. Just look at look at all those houses. It's so pretty. Yeah, wow. I think that's Temple Isle. Maybe? I don't know quite sure exactly where we are. But um Yeah. Cool. What a big what a big city. So much to do here. Yeah. We are, what I would really like before we do this is to um or maybe directly after it is to do the quest for the elf swordsman that we got when we first arrived here because he was like i need your help and we agreed to help him and he seems like a nice chap hey there's a thing on philippa Isleheart now should we read doodos and philippas yeah okay uh doodoo biberville biberville Geralt and I had known the Doppler Dudu for years. We've him. actually read most of this. Ah. Uh, I think it goes from... Geralt learnt that Dudu crossed Horse and Junior, one of Novigrad's most ruthless crime bosses. That Dudu extracted himself from this predicament while only losing one eye should be considered a fortunate turn. Suri, Dudu, and I had embroiled broiled ourselves in quite the fiasco, but unlike me, the Doppler was not caught by the Temple Guard. Dudu was a theatre aficionado and frequent attendee of Irina's Mummers performances. Apparently he had even stepped in to replace indisposed mummers on several occasions, and, given his special abilities, proved himself a uniquely convincing understudy. Finally, after a great deal of trouble and thanks to a clever ruse, Geralt was reunited with his old friend and a certain imprisoned poet's only hope. So we'll read Philippa's now, right? Mm-hmm. So, uh, Philippa Eilhart. Uh, Philippa Eilhart, one-time advisor to King Viz Vizimir. Vizima? Vizima. Sure. The second, called the called the Just, member of the Council of Mages and later founder of the Lodge of Sorceresses, had played a momentous part in the history of the world as well as in Geralt's life. There could be no denying her talent, yet neither could one claim that she did not also at times demonstrate sickly ambition. Very trustworthy reports indicated she had she had, had a hand in King Viz Vizima's second's death as a member of the Lodge, uh, was implicated in the murder of two other monarchs as well, uh, Demavend of Adirn and Foltest of Temera. Temeria. Which implies that she was in league with um, Emir, right? Because it, you know, it, it, the, the out of all of the killing of all those monarchs was that Emir had set it up so that 
the the North would be vulnerable when uh, he came to attack, right? For this reason, the one time jewel of the court of Tritigur was now a wanted woman, the quarry of special forces from the North and Nilfgaard alike. Mazimia's son and successor, Radovid V, was particularly eager to capture her. During their last encounter in Loch Muin, he had had Philippa's eyes gouged shut, yet she had fled and he wanted nothing more than to stick the head of Tretagor's jewel on a spike above the city gates. Mmm. Alright, that's cool. Not- and we, f- we, Radovid said that she was like one of his tutors when he was young. Uh, a kid, which is quite interesting. Yeah. All right. Looks good. Hmm. Okay. That was fun. Yeah. So much storyline happening in this game, man. Just, Heaps. Just, oh, and then that guy vomiting in the corner. It's a buffet of storylines. And vomit. Boars. Boars everywhere. I mean, I don't know what your buffets are like, but... <laughs> In the Roman style. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone. Um, I hope you have a lovely yeah, evening and nice. sleep wherever you and are. And weekend. And uh, we will catch you next time. All right. See you then. Bye. Bye.